all right, so you want to do a business, you want to start a YouTube channel, you want to start uh, a company or something that helps you produce an income, a financial freedom, perhaps. While this is all valuable and for most of us important, right, because we got bills to pay, there is something, a message here that I constantly observe that a lot of people tend to ignore, and that is doing things for the right reasons. What do I mean? Everyone has their own reasons. Everyone is different. Everyone's unique, have different backgrounds, different perceptions. We have so many different things going on within ourselves and within our surroundings. But the one thing here, as we're narrowing it down to the specific topic of this video, has a tremendous effect in your own life as well as to those around you. If we try to break it down in different categories, three primarily for just this video, because it can go in so many various levels. We have the entrepreneur, which I kind of fall in that category. Then you have the person who's working a corporate ladder, which I used to be that person. Then you have the individual who just works a regular job, however that's interpreted, a regular job just to provide for the means of their bills and income. Maybe they have some money on the side to save or whatever. They just work. That's all they know. They go home, they watch TV and repeat that cycle. For them, this is okay. This is what they want. The corporate ladder person likes it because there's comfort and security in the sense of climbing up a ladder doing well. Sometimes they even really enjoy that process. And then you have the individual like myself, which is more about that personal development and personal gain and making a difference on this planet. Now, of course, this same token, right, has the other opposite end of that individual just doing it for the money. Same thing for each, each category that I have mentioned. So the point here for this topic is to recognize what are you doing it for? If you are, I'm putting it out there, guys, if you're doing it for instrumental factors or uh, ext extrinsic motivation, rewards, fear of uh, being evicted, fear of not getting the right girlfriend or woman to appreciate you because you're not having that same level of status or financial income, whatever the case is, if it's instrumental or ext uh, extrinsic, at some point, it's going to deteriorate. And what do I mean by that? You're going to have to find something else to continue getting you going for these financial gains, these little financial rewards. Now, if you shift this focus onto some intrinsic and personal value motives, you will have a longer term effect of gaining some money and personal satisfaction. You can make money by doing exactly what you are passionate about. It is a thing. It is real. It is effective. I use fitness myself, my experiences, my knowledge to share with you on how to do that and how to get better. I love that stuff, guys. I love it. I'm passionate about it. I talk to people. We do video calls. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I, it produces an income. Eventually, it's going to grow. And eventually, I can't do it all alone. Eventually, I'm going to need a team. But guess what? I'm working my ass off doing these videos. I'm working my butt off to make this content, to get better, to learn from people, making those mistakes. I still push myself physically. I try to diet. I, get, I try to get leaner. I try to get stronger. I try to run faster. I try to push myself. Why? Because I love the challenge. I love pushing myself. I love testing and applying what I teach and, and using and referencing off of my philosophy because it really helps me push through some tough times. Additionally, I love to coach and help others. But if I am to be a better person, a better coach, more understanding, more empathetic, more flexible, so on and so forth, I gotta be in it. You get what I'm saying? And I can't do it half-assed. I personally, this is how I roll, I got to do it to win it. I'm in it to win it. And that may mean a lot of time, commitment, sacrifice, and losses. But at least at this point in this direction, I am willing to go through it because I inherently enjoy it. I'm okay with this process because it's what I want to do. But then you have people who are rubbing your face. You're all making eighty, hundred thousand dollars a year because that ain't, that ain't hard to get out here in California for uh, an entry-level job, by the way. But let me tell you something. On that same end, there comes some really hard freaking time and commitments and sacrifice long commute times gas prices are going up and not many companies are going to pay for that that's out of your pocket using up a car's miles if you're leasing or loaning whatever the cost of living here in california is super high you know what i'm saying there there is some sacrifice there that people just don't pay attention to i've been there guys i'm aware of it and this is why i'm telling you when you have this realization these instrumental if not extrinsic motives when you find out that these are the reasons why you were doing it it's gonna hit hard it's gonna hit hard 
And that's why I'm emphasizing here, guys, and I'm talking about it with all of you, sharing this important message here in this video, that you gotta start reflecting on these situations and these serious matters and focus all that energy, that time and energy on things that add value, add to your life, add growth, enthusiasm, energy, energizing by connecting with other people, that knowledge and that information, such powerful influences to doing amazing and great things. This is what you need more of in your life versus the idea of doing it for the money. On the big scheme of things, guys, we all have our roles to play. And if we narrow it down, how do we ensure that we're fulfilling our role? How do we ensure we're living a fulfilling and thriving life? Well, stop doing it for the wrong reasons. And you know it's for the wrong reasons. You know it. You feel it. It's in here, man. You know. You know it's for the wrong reasons. Deep down inside, only you and you alone will know if whether or not you are doing it for the right reasons. Look, man, I get it. We all need an income. We all have our uh, limitations, our setbacks, our challenges, things that we have for our self-development, our resources to advance and whatnot. But look, even then with that, we all have a choice. Working to the end of your last <laughs> breath is not life. Doing things for the right reasons, guys, the message here. Because if you are not satisfied in doing what you're doing, like I said, it's going to impact negatively your life and to those around you. And it just repeats this vicious, uncomfortable, negative cycle. That's why I'm so passionate and pushing out this message. Because that shit irritates me when you go to a place and you see someone who's just not satisfied. It's like, then why are you here? That individual just doesn't have the knowledge, the support, or the resources to do what it is that they have to do to fulfill that role in living a more fulfilling life. That's why I believe I exist. I am passing on that knowledge and that information to each and every one of you. Take a moment and reflect. What is it that you want to do that is meaningful and that can make a difference on this planet to the person on left and right of you? Eventually, you're gonna realize what it is that you're very good at, what you really enjoy, that you're willing to work and take all the heat the negativity, the thrashing, and just failings. You're willing to take it because you are no longer doing it for the instrumental or extrinsic factors. You are not doing it for you, those instrumental factors, right? Or sorry, the, the intrinsic factors. You, you're doing it for you internally, your values, and that you also inherently enjoy it. Because whether you realize this or not, your attitude, your energy is contagious. All in all, guys, stop doing things for the money. Find your personal mission. Harness it, develop it, master it, work on that, and then make that your business. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I truly appreciate you, your time, and your level of commitment for watching this video all the way through. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, but as always, train intentionally with maximum effort and be one with the iron.